Hey ladies, I wanted to just talk to you a little bit about this upcoming Create and Share. I'm excited about it and I hope you are too. And um, you know, when I created the Bible study with this aspect in it, Create and Share, it was because of a feeling from previous Bible studies I had been in that it was just a constant, you know, um, read a question, give an answer, read a question, give an answer, come back, share the answers and hear a talk and then move on with our life. And there, it felt like there was never any opportunity to bring together what we are learning and get it out there in another format. And one of the best ways that we can learn and improve the way we engage with each other is to share, to bring what we're learning and pull it into a different format. So outside of the realm of words and writing, kind of that left brain portion and bringing it into that right brain idea of holistic thinking and creative expression. And I know, I know, many of you fear being creative, resist it even. <laughs> Believe me, I, I do too in many respects and you'd be surprised, but I do. So this particular Create and Share, I hope it's something that you'll embrace and have fun doing um, because you're gonna get your hands dirty and have some fun with it. I'm gonna share some photo ideas with you in our group. And I'm gonna give you the instructions. They come right off of the container of this air dry clay from Crayola, but they were really hard to read. It was super small and I kept on trying to take a picture of it and just post it for you. That wouldn't work. So I decided to do this video and I'm gonna type up the directions and stick them in our group for you. I wanted to show you um, what I ended up doing for my create and share and what I'm glad I did and what I'm like, hey, I probably will do it differently if I decide to do a second one. Um, so here's my little um, earth and clay vessel. And I'll tell you this as well, just a little simple pot, and I, I ended up making a little lid <laughs> that just sits on there like that, anyway. Um, and then each of you got this uh, tea light, you can put that in there, and you have a teeny tiny, can you see that? Teeny tiny little diamond for you. And boop, if you didn't get your diamond, because I forgot to put them out on Tuesday Bible study, but they were out on Wednesdays. If you didn't get your diamond, I have them at church. And if you don't regularly attend our church on Sundays and you want a diamond, um, please let me know. It'll be easy enough for me to pop it in the mail and send it off to you. It's a cute little diamond. Anyway, um, what was I talking about? <laughs> I'll edit this later. So while I went, as, as I was bringing together the idea and I, what I do is when I write through the Bible study, read through the, the, the text, I, you know, start thinking in my mind, what would be a great way to bring to life, bring outside of our brain and into the physical world, what we've been learning. And there were so many, um, visuals in this particular passage, like the seal, like I was thinking of making like a wax seal and having a stamp of wax seal or something like that. But then I thought, you know what? The treasures, earthen vessels, so cool. So then I was thinking, hey, maybe we'll go to like Color Me Mine together and have a uh, clay creation day. We'll, we'll book it at Color Me Mine. It was even looking for Groupons or we can get a, a group of us to go together and get a discount and all that. And then I realized, you know what? When we go to Color Me Mine, as fun as those are, and I love going to those, when we go there, you end up with a a nice glazed mug or a container of some kind and they're really nice and Paul's words and the concept of this passage in chapter four is that it's just a simple earthen vessel and of no no true really intrinsic no no value like it wasn't super beautiful looking um, if you if you take a look at the context of this and he says here we have this treasure and he's talking about the light of the knowledge of the glory of God this treasure in the face of Jesus Christ, we have this in jars of clay. In other words, just super simple, breakable, demolishable, usable for everyday purposes, jar of clay. And uh, I didn't want to end up making something that looked too fancy. We should keep it looking. So I went online. I found clay that looked like earth because you can get this particular brand in like a white clay or different colors. I thought, nope, we're going to make it look, we're going to have it be more like earth, earth and vessel, right? So um, hence this create and share. I really do pray that you'll get involved. And next time when we come back together for Bible study, you will come with your earth and vessel to share whatever yours ends up looking like. I I was 
originally thinking of doing like a um, more like a vase style. I wanted to do that, but I, I couldn't quite figure out how to do it. Anyway, so <laughs> I ended up making this. I know you girls are going to come up with your own versions and it's going to be lovely. I can't wait to see all of those. A couple of things, like I said at the beginning, um, what I'm glad I did was uh, get, make sure I had time for it to dry. And then, and I didn't also fuss too much about it. Because again, I wanted it to look, I didn't want it to look perfect. It just needs to be usable. It's something simple. Um, it takes a few days to dry, two or three days to dry. And with this weather we've been having, it might take a little longer. So that's why throughout the Bible study, I've encouraged you to please start this early. I always give you that nudge at the very first day to look ahead on, on the Create and Share day. Uh, but definitely get this started early. And so you'll have time for it to dry. And if you want more clay, let me know. I'll give you more. I'd love for you to do it with your family. If you've got kids or grandkids, you want to do it. It's it's fun. You get your fingers dirty. Um, I ended up create, using this tray underneath what I was creating. And you can tip it. And I, I had a little container I used for water. Because you just touch a little bit of water on your fingertips to keep it to connect together. Um, this is a coffee stir stick I ended up using to kind of scrape the sides a little bit. I'm not, I'm not a pro at this at all. And, and I just use this old spatula I have in my kitchen, which is very covered in clay dust now. Um, but if you want more clay, I have more clay. And I'd love for you to make this something special you can do with your family. Get the kids involved, get your hubby involved, get your roommates involved, whatever you want. Read the scripture together, go online, listen to our playlist that we have for this Bible study on Spotify. I'll make sure I have the link in here so you can see that as well. And remember that all of this is in the spirit of our guiding verse for these Bible studies, which is to let the word of Christ dwell in us richly. We could read God's word. That's great. Um, we can look at it. That's great. We could even memorize it. That's great. But if it doesn't dwell in us, then what's, what's the point? So this is an aspect of letting it dwell because it's in us and now it's coming back out in a, in a new way and a, a way that we can end up sharing. So if you end up putting this out and someone comments on it, Hey, did your, you know, did your kid make that when they were in kindergarten? Um, you can say, no, I made that. I made it a few days ago or whatever. Anyway, it'll be a conversation piece. This looks like a biscuit. And you can um, share that with your with your family. It's a, it's a testimony. Think about what it means that we are earthen vessels and we have that light in us. And what a beautiful reminder it is that God has given that to us and how treasured we are for the treasure that we have in us. I love that. So enjoy making that. Please let me know if you want help, if you want ideas, um, if you want to get together and do it with me, come on over to my house and we'll do it together. <laughs> but either way, have fun and learn a ton as always and enjoy God's word. And always, always remember to let the word of Christ dwell in you richly and know as always that you are loved and prayed for. I'll talk to you guys again real soon. Bye-bye for now.